So hi, everyone. Welcome for, thank you for being here. We are really excited about today's session. Um, we have Julia Johansson, who's coming to us actually from Paris, where she and her family moved in July and will be there for a year. So it's her evening, but she's here to talk to us about um, the course that she and her colleagues have put together specifically for Invest for Better. And it is a version of what the Impact Collective, which is the organization that she started, has built as a much bigger series that she does. She does a very intensive course and she is paring that back a bit for us, which is absolutely fantastic. But Julia is really passionate about the racial wealth gap and how all of us as women can start to see the role that we play in it without really realizing it and how we can start putting our money to work to close that gap. And she's worked with a number of very informed um, individuals to craft this course. And during the course of the course, uh, we will actually be hearing from three of those individuals, one in each of the three sessions. So I will stop there. I'll let Julia introduce herself a little bit more and why she does what she does and what this course will all be about. So thanks so much for being here, Julia. It's really a pleasure to have you and it's a delight to be partnering with your organization. Thank you, Janine. This is so exciting. I am so delighted to be here, particularly because I met Janine maybe about a year ago and she and I have been dreaming and scheming about the intersection between the Impact Collective and Invest for Better. So this is super exciting and has been in the works um, for a little while. So I'm really happy to be here. Thank you for having me here, Janine. I really appreciate it. So I'll just share a little bit about me. I have a very brief presentation um, that I can share that has some slides for, for the visual learners among us. And then um, what I really want is to open it up and have a conversation and, and be able to answer any questions that anybody might have. So I am a native Bostonian. Um, I identify as a white woman and I am also a uh, beneficiary of wealth generated by my maternal grandfather. Um, so my mother's father was a successful real estate developer. And um, I have had the benefit of working with incredible leaders in the nonprofit sector in Boston, um, all of whom have been incredible black leaders. And I've had the opportunity to learn um, so many things that I put together um, after George Floyd's murder, when I had a lot of conversations with really well-meaning, well-meaning, well-intentioned, uh, well-resourced, well-educated white friends who said, oh God, it's, you know, it's so bad right now in this country. I just don't know what to do. And I thought that is so interesting that some of the best educated, wealthiest people in the country don't know what to do, or at least in Boston, I will say, although I, I was definitely having this conversation with friends across the country. Um, and it really stuck with me that we were struggling to come up with things to do other than read um, or give to charities, philanthropies. Um, and so I started, my gears started turning and I started thinking about the possibility of getting small groups of women together, a lot like um, what is happening at Invest for Better. And I uh, reached out to experts, friends, leaders um, in Boston and beyond, in the nonprofit sector, in the financial sector, um, to really start to put together a curriculum. And the curriculum became the curriculum for the intensive workshop that we that we offer at the Impact Collective. And um, I have read Janine's book. I have not been able to participate in an Invest for Better circle, um, but I have um, worked with some incredible people to build this curriculum. And when Janine and I started to talk about how we might be able to partner, um, we, exactly as she said, we pared down the intensive curriculum that we offer, which is specifically designed for wealthy white women who have a very unique role and place in the ecosystem. Um, and we are offering a deep dive for the Invest for Better community. So I'm going to share my, um, hopefully, and, oh no, can you enable screen sharing for me? 
so that I can sure. share my screen. One moment. Okay, should work now. Yes, great. Okay, awesome. Are you seeing my screen, everybody? Great, okay. So are you still seeing it? Yes. Awesome, okay, great. All right, so um, we are here to learn about the deep dive that we're offering for the Invest for Better community. Of course, I've just hit my next slide button and it's and nothing's happening. Oh, this kills me. All right, hold on. Let's let's start this again. Why does it do this? Give me Test one second. Perfect. <laughs> oh, but I am that part out myself. of the video, so don't worry. We will we will cut that out. So silly that it wasn't working. Okay, let's see here. I might be able to do it and not actually do it in presentation mode. I'm going to try presentation mode one more time, and then I'm not going to waste anybody's time by trying it again if it's not working. Oh, oh it's well, are you seeing a purple screen? Because that's all I'm seeing. It, it says quotations before the course. Oh, good. Oh, you're seeing things that I'm not seeing. All oh, right, then yeah. I'm going to actually, this is really, okay then I'm not going to share it that way. I'm going to share it this way. My apologies. Okay, hold on. This might actually work. And Julia, also did you actually see the quotations? No. no. If you want me to share, give it a try too. I'm happy to, Jules. I have it. Yeah, why don't you give it a try? I wonder if it's my internet. Why don't you try it, Kelly? Kelly is my incredible colleague at the Impact Collective. <laughs> um, and so she might actually succeed in sharing what I'm not able to do. Okay, um, next slide, Cal. So here are some of the things that we heard, that I heard, and that um, a lot of us heard and said and felt um, before the women that I have been able to connect with took our intensive course. These things are probably familiar to you. I think we all know that there is more we can be doing um, about systemic racism, about the racial wealth gap, about race in America. And a lot of us don't know what to do beyond reading, you know, listening maybe to NPR, listening to podcasts, listening to 1619, um, watching TED Talks. And so the curriculum was developed in response to these sorts of things. And so these are some things people said before the course, and we're gonna share with you some things that they said after our intensive curriculum. Next slide, my friend. So here's how we structured the deep dive for the Invest for Better community on the racial wealth gap. We have three different sessions that cover the economics, the sort of basics of the economics of racism in this country. Um, session two covers the issue of access to capital, really helps to break down the mechanics of access to capital. And session three is an overview, which you already are probably somewhat familiar with from your um, circle experiences, but the wealth management ecosystem, um, and we also get into action planning. So we're gonna give very, very concrete action planning um, opportunities. Can you just go back quickly? So that um, people have something super concrete to leave our deep dive with, to take action steps and to do um, some things that we have at our fingertips, but we haven't really put the pieces together for. So we bring three incredible guest speakers to you for the three different sessions. Actually, go back one more second. Um, and we are combining all of these pieces that we think are really central to people's ability to take really meaningful action, which are knowledge, courage, community, the community of the women taking the course, um, and accountability to stick with the actions, and then, of course, the actions themselves. And we offer the opportunity to set up um, small trios in within the larger group of whoever res registers for this deep dive. We're gonna have small trios of three women that are gonna work really closely together before, during, and after the workshop to hold each other accountable, to challenge each other, to support each other, to problem solve, um, you name it. All right, next. So here we just break down how we're approaching the different sections that we're gonna offer you. So we have a variety of frameworks that we use at the Impact Collective that help ground our thinking and our action planning. The first is a systems change framework, which looks at how 
you can solve complex problems. Um, the second is a spheres of influence framework, which looks at how individuals feature within any complex ecosystem of which we are all part of many. Um, and then the third is a behavior change uh, framework, which looks at the different stages that you move through in a cycle of change. So putting all these pieces together is really important for us to start to make new financial decisions and other decisions, really any decisions that you might make um, as a result of this workshop will be informed by these, these different frameworks. So we're gonna give you some really basic introductory information about the racial wealth gap, um, uh, the zero sum par paradigm, which is a concept um, that we have uh, fully embrace thanks to Heather McGee's scholarship in this, the books of The Some of Us. We're going to introduce how important real estate and redlining is in talking about the racial wealth gap, and we're going to get ready to start to take action in the first session. Um, and our guest speaker is going to be Janice Murray, who is incredible. Second session is really focused on access to capital and understanding the importance of being able to equitably access capital when you need to start um, a business. And it could be a giant business or it could be a tiny business. And the reality in the United States is that access to capital is not equitable and that we as individuals have opportunities and depending on how you look at it, responsibility to create some more equitable pathways to capital. And that these um, inequities are certainly um, showing up along race lines in the U.S. So we're gonna continue our um, pathways to action, looking at our action commitments and mapping our spheres of influence in the second session. And then we're gonna bring some additional knowledge assignments in for you as well. Session three is really focusing on understanding the wealth management ecosystem and understanding how individuals with um, more capital than they need to thrive can take opportunities within the ecosystem not just investments, um, but also as, as I think you know from your circles as well, banking, um, real estate opportunities, discretionary spending. And when you're talking about investments, it's really to under, important to understand what the wealth management ecosystem is made up of so that you can start to look at your impact points and your opportunities. So we're gonna cover some information which could be um, a repetition from the, the work you did in your circles around your very basic investment portfolio overviews, individualized, of course, um, looking at your pool's priorities and partners that you utilize for your wealth, um, and then offering some really great framing around how you could approach social justice and racial justice in particular across all asset classes. And then we're gonna get really concrete around your individual action commitments and your trio action commitments. And our guest speaker for this session is Tiffany Hawkins, who is also an incredible um, individual that I'm excited to introduce everybody to. Next slide, my friend. Here they all are together. So here's what um, some of the women who have taken our intensive workshop at the Impact Collective, which is a nine session experience. So it's, uh, and as Janine said, it is extremely in-depth and comprehensive. This is what they said after the workshop. So that is the sum total of our very brief presentation because we really wanna be able to answer questions if anyone has any questions. And we're, I, I'm happy to leave this slide up for another uh, couple of minutes for people that wanna take it in a little bit more slowly. That's great. Thank you so much, Julia. I'm really, ex I'm gonna take your workshop for sure. Oh, and- yes. For those of you who have been in our circle experience before, and Julia, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're gonna do this a little bit differently. So most of you know that the way that we're running circles now is that somebody steps up to lead or co-lead the circle. We provide you with the content that you will um, have as homework, and then you go into the circle with questions and dialogue and possibly worksheets, et cetera, that you've worked through and that you show up in small groups of women. So that's, that's how our traditional circles work. This is gonna be different. We're experimenting with something different this time. So anyone who signs up for this course, it's gonna be a live course. 
Um, Julia and her colleagues will actually be going through it live. You will be put into trios instead of in the larger, um, it, you know, in a large group, you'll be put into trios. And those it'll actually be both. We'll do both. We'll have okay. some in the large group. We'll have some time actually in, in race-based affinity spaces as well. And we'll have some in um, of our time in trios during the sessions. And then right. we will ask the trios to meet outside the sessions as well. Right. So, and that's another really important thing about this. So I'll come back to the, the race-based affinity groups in a minute, but so mm -hmm. anyone who wants to be part of this will be part of it. And we will let as many women in as want to be in. And, um, and then this will all be live events that we will have taking part. The issue about the race-based affinity groups is as uh, Julia was saying, the way that she originally created this intensive course, it was really for white women of wealth in Boston. She was very specific on who she was focusing. And our community is not that, our community is broader. And so in going forward to adapt this to invest for better, we did a couple of different things. One, it isn't just focused on, on white women, excuse me, wealthy women, it's focused on all women. And we also talked to our DEI consultant about this because originally we were wondering if we should just make this for the white members of our community. And we decided that was the wrong thing to do. We wanted to open it to every member, but the dialogue that women from different backgrounds are gonna have around some of the issues that Julia is presenting is gonna be very different because different women are coming from different contexts. So there'll be an opportunity to get together with women who are more like you in a peer group to talk about some of these things in a way that um, allows for openness and real sharing. And then we'll come back in larger groups where everyone can share together. So that is how um, this has unfolded based on our conversations with our DEI consultant, as well as with Julia's um, colleagues. So that just gives you a little bit more flavor. So this is gonna be a very different course. And if 70 women wanna show up, we will have 70 women in this course. Um, we'll see how this works. <laughs>